Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Math Fun Learning. I am your math teacher Rashi. In this video, I am going to solve IMO of 2022 and 23. So this uh, paper is for, for class 4 set P. In this video, we are solving everyday mathematics which has a 10 questions. We already solved a mathematical reasoning and a logical reasoning in my previous video. So what are you waiting for? Be ready with pencil and a paper to solve and understand the tricks of your uh, questions, different questions which you are going to solve it here. So, let's so here everyday mathematics. This is everyday mathematics started. So question number 21. So kids, in these questions, in here everyday mathematics means everyday, uh, the math which is using everyday. So how to solve these questions? In this video, I'm going to explain you the uh, steps or a method how to solve it. And this is very good revision for your uh, exercise, for your uh, topic. Okay, so now let's start. Question number 21. Now, our mantra is we have to read your uh, read the question, underline the com, underline the important words and try to solve it. So, be ready with your pencil and let's start. Question number 21. The number of visitors at a Diwali Mela on the first two days. So, they said... First two days, that means on the first day, it is 11,523. On the next day, second day is 9,235. On the third day, there were 1,580 visitors more than on the first day. Okay, so it, is, it said it is more than on the first day. 1580 visitors so first day visitors are 11523 so how many total people visited the mela on all three days so let's it's all three days and how many total so here keyword is total in all all the three days that means you have to add it okay so how to add it let's try to solve it so you are ready now, question number 21. Yeah. So, first write down the number of first day. Uh, sorry, the number of visitors. The number of visitors on first day. On first day. Okay. So, first day visitor is 11,523. Okay. And the number of visitors on the second day. So, it's a Diwali Mela. Okay. On second day. It is 9,235. Okay. And the number of visitors, the number of visitors on third day. Okay. Third day is 1,580 more than the first day. So, how many numbers, no, what is the number of visitors on the first day? So, okay, sorry. So, how many number of visitors on the first day? So, it is here. So, what we can do? We just add these two. Yeah. So, 1580 plus first day visitors. So, it is 11,000. 523. Now add these. 0 plus 3 is 3. 8 plus 2 is 10. So 0 and the 1 is a carryover. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. 
वन कैरी वन प्लस वन टू टू प्लस वन इज थ्री एंड दिस इज वन सो इट इज थर्टीन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड थ्री इज अ विजिटर्स नंबर ऑफ विजिटर्स ऑन द थर्ड डे ओके नाउ सो हियर यू हैव एंड यू हैव नंबर ऑफ विजिटर्स इन फर्स्ट डे इलेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री सेकेंड डे नाइन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव एंड थर्ड डे इज थर्टीन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड थ्री नाउ एड ऑल यू जस्ट एड ऑल ओके आई जस्ट राइट हियर इलेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री नाइन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव एंड थर्टीन थाउजेंड So five plus three, eight plus three, eleven. One carry over. One plus two, three. Three plus three, six. Five plus two, seven. Seven plus one, eight. Nine plus one, ten. Ten plus three, thirteen. One carry over. One plus one, two. Two plus one, three. So this is the total number of the visitors are thirty-three thousand eight hundred sixty-three. So th these are total number. of visitors i hope it is clear so your option number c is correct let's solve the question number 22 correct so in the question number 22 Rashmi wants to make a smallest five digit number. Okay. So she wants to make a smallest smallest five digit number using the giving digits. Use each digit only once. What is the number that she will form? Okay. So here is the Lakshmi, uh, Rashmi. Rashmi is here. Now let's see. She is having a uh, five digits. 5 Three, zero, four, and nine. Wow! So she is having a five-digit number, and you all have to solve it. Help help her to find out the smallest number with the help uh, smallest number with uh, of these numbers. You have to use these numbers and to form a smallest number. Okay, so you know how to form a smallest number. In yes, just write all the numbers in an increasing order. Yeah, you have to arrange your digits in an increasing, increasing order. So let's arrange the in these into an increasing order. The smaller number is zero. Then three, then four, and then five, and then nine. Wow, is it correct? Hmm, zero is on the first place. If you can see that zero is on the first place, that means you cannot uh, form a five-digit number. So this is not a five-digit number. This is basically a four-digit number. One, two, three, four. Okay. So then, what you can do if you kids the Trick is if you have a zero in the giving number and you have to form a smallest number. So what you can do, you just take a zero and place it on the second place, and arrange your all numbers in an increasing order except zero. Always keep your zero on the second place. Now this is a number thirty thousand four hundred fifty nine is the smallest number, which is formed with the given five digit numbers. So, which option is correct? D. D option is correct. Well done. Next twenty-three question number twenty-three. Jyoti reads five hundred forty-one pages during her summer reading book. Okay. In order to reach her goal of six hundred fifty pages, how many more pages does she need to read? So the question asks you how many more pages does she need to read? That means how many more? Here it is a keyword of difference. That means subtract. Now 
she is Rash, uh, rashmi now she is become yeah she is now jyoti okay so jyoti is reading a book and the book page number page a she is on the 541 page she already read these and yeah so and um, she her goal is she has to read 650 pages her goal is this so how to find how many how many more pages she has to need more so what you can do subtract 541 the pages which she already read it 541 pages now how to subtract let's count so 0 minus 1 not possible so carry over uh, sorry borrow so uh, 0 will take a borrow from 5 it will change into the 4 and this 0 is changed into the 10 so 10 minus 1 is 9 and 4 minus 4 is 0 6 minus 5 is 1 so here total 109 pages are left to read so now she is ready so um, which option is correct option b is your correct option well done kids now let's read the question number 24 anurag bought five roses and three sunflower how much did he pay in all okay so you know that what is the rose what is the price of the rose it is 15 rupees and what is the price of the sunflower it is 10 rupees now let's solve okay so anurag bought a so i can solve it here okay the page and change where is anurag so here is anurag and he is solving he bought a uh, five roses and i do not have a roses night right now so i can take color so he bought five roses okay so this is five roses and the price of the five roses is 15 rupees now sunflower so what is sunflower mm. so sunflower is how many sunflower he bought he bought uh, he buy three sunflowers and the price of the sunflower is 10 rupees so you know that just it is a repeated multiplication just multiply these 5 times 15 is just multiply 5 times 5 is 25 5 and 2 5 and the 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 6 7 it is 75 rupees for roses and 30 rupees for sunflower if you add these two you will get 105 rupees for both the flowers so which option is correct 105 c option is correct of the question number 24 now let's come to the question number 25 there are 480 notebooks in a bookstore out of which 40 notebooks were sold on Monday and 80 notebooks were sold on Tuesday. Okay. What fraction of the total notebooks were so sold on both the days? So, kids, just think about it. It's a keyword fraction. That means you have to find out the fraction of the total notebooks were sold on both the days. Okay. So how to do it? How to solve this? Let's solve now. Yeah. Uh, there are on Monday notebooks sold on Monday. 
it is 40 and on Tuesday it is 80. So what is the total number of the uh, notebooks which is sold to get total? So just add it and find out the total number. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So 120 notebooks were sold. Now they said you have to find out the fraction and how you will find out the fraction? For fraction the number of the notebooks sold that is 120 out of total number of the notebooks and that is 480. So kids just change it into the lowest form. How to change the lowest form? You can see if you divide this into with the 10. Divide the numerator and the denominator both together. So you will get 12 upon 48. And now 12 upon 48 is an even number and just think which num which on which table in which table you, you will divide this you will divide table of 12 12 times 1 is 12 and 12 times 4 is 48 so this is 1 by 4 is the lowest so lowest fraction So which option is correct? What fraction of the total notebooks was sold on both the days? 1 by 4. Question number 26. Nisha used a piece of a wire to make a given rectangle. If the length of the rectangle is 3 times its breadth, then find the length of the wire used. So you have to identify the total number, total length of the wire what is the length used here? Okay. So, how to solve it? So, wait. Let me just. So, this is a rectangle. Mm, let's write the question number. The question number is 26. And Nisha is. Nisha made this rectangle, right? So, she used a piece of a wire to make this rectangle and it said the length of the rectangle, um, I'll just write it here, the length of the rectangle, this is your length and this is the breadth and the length of the rectangle is 3 times its breadth and what is the breadth here? You don't know the breadth. So, what we can do, breadth is B, so length is 3 times B. Right? So, now it's uh, given the... Okay, in this question it's given the length is 15 centimeter. Now, we it's given length that is 15 centimeter. So, 15 centimeter is equal to 3 times breadth. You can put the value like this immediately. Now, find the value of B because 15 is the number, 3 is the number, both are the like term. So, you can use a method of transposing method. I hope you all remember that method of transposing, method of balancing. Yeah. So, you can use a transposing method here. Transposing method means you transfer like terms to the another place, from one place to the another. So, we can shift this 3 on the left hand side. This is the left hand side value and these are right hand side value. So, the uh, 3 and 15 is the number. So, we can shift 3 here to find out the value of B that is a breadth. Okay. So, yeah kids, when we transport a number from one place to another place, we use a opposite arithmetic signs operation signs okay and the sign is here 3 is multiplied with the breadth so when you shift 3 here so 3 start dividing 50 so 15 is divided by 3 which is equal to breadth so what is the value of breadth when you divide this it is 5 centimeter now you got the value of breadth that is 5 centimeter this is 15 centimeter which is given here. So, opposite uh, length is also 15 centimeter and the breadth is 5 centimeter. Now, add all the uh, sides of this 
rectangle so when you uh, add all the sides of rectangle so what we call kids that is called a yeah perimeter well done because we have to find out perimeter perimeter is boundary boundary of our given figure so we can just add 15 plus we can we will start from one side 15 plus 5 plus 15 plus 5 add it 20 10 is 20 15 plus 5 is again 20 so 20 plus 20 is 40 centimeter so total wire length is 40 centimeter which she used to make a rectangle and here the option a is the correct answer now let's try to solve question number 27 Puneet wanted to take a bus at 6.25 p.m. He arrived at the bus stop 40 minutes before. Before means earlier than the 6.25 p.m. At what time did Puneet arrive at the bus stop? Oh, great. So, kids, you can solve it into a very different way. Uh, there are many methods to solve it. Solve it. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so let's start. Where is Puneet? Okay, so here is Puneet and he is reached early. He reached early on the bus stop. Okay, so he reached uh, there uh, on the bus stop at uh, around 6.25 p.m. Okay, so what is the time? At what time? Okay, yeah, so you have to find out. He reached here. So let's look a line. This is the question number 27. So what we can do? It's a before time. So just find out just we, what we can do. We have to subtract 40 minutes to find the actual time at what time he reached okay let's take the so here let's subtract it 10 minutes minus 10 so that means it is 6 50 again if you subtract it 15 minutes so it is 6 o'clock right so 15 plus 10 is 25 minutes you already subtract from the 40 now let's subtract it 10 minutes so it is 5.50. Okay. Now it's 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 5. 35 minutes you already subtracted from 40 minutes. That means you need to subtract 5 more minutes. So let's subtract 5 minutes more. So he reached at what time? 5.45 p.m. You can use this method to solve it. You can use a 10, 10 minutes to solve it. Here it is a 15. So if we subtract 15 minutes directly, we uh, reach on 6 o'clock. That's why I use 15, subtract 15 minutes here. We can use a uh, subtraction method like that. Okay. I, uh, that's easy for you to solve it. Okay, so he reached on the platform 40 minutes earlier that the time is 5.45 p.m. And here the correct option is B. So question number 28, there are 350 people in a seminar hall. If 3 by 7 of them are male, then how many females are there in the seminar halls? So let's solve this question. So here 350 people in a seminar hall so this is the seminar halls and 350 people are divided into a fraction in which it said 3 by 7 of them are males that means we divided 350 people in a seven groups so here i made a seven group so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 3 
four, five, six, seven. There are seven curves. So out of these seven, three, uh, three parts are covered for with a male. So that means these three by seven are the number of males. So first you have just find out what is the amount of three. What is the amount of one part? So how to find this? We, if you divide three hundred fifty with seven, you will get the one part and the number of the people which is present in a one part, and that is fifty, right? So which means fifty people are present in one part. Okay, so these three parts are of a male's part. Out of seven, these three are the males. That means how many males are there? If you add fifty plus fifty, hundred, hundred plus fifty is one hundred fifty males are there, and rest are females. These are females. So what is the fraction of female? One, two, three, four. So out of seven, four are the females, and out of seven, three are the males. Let's find out the number of females present in the seminar hall. So we can do if you know the fraction of the females. So we can just divide it four by seven with three fifty. So I already explained you here in this type of uh, problem. You have to use two methods. First method is division division yes you have to divide the total number 350 with 7 which we already did here and you got 70 second step is multiply what you have to multiply the answer 50 is multiply with numerator and the numerator is 4 If you multiply five times four is twenty, and that zero have to put here, so it is total two hundred. That means so the answer, the number of the females are two hundred females. I hope it is very clear to you all. Yeah. So uh, remember these two steps while solving this type of fractions, this type of problems. Okay. Or if you know the uh, number, you can solve this question in this another way as well. If you know the total number of the males, which is one hundred and fifty males, subtract these from three hundred and fifty. the uh, males you will get, receive you will get 200 females are present in the seminar hall now so 200 so let's see option c is a correct answer well done question number 29 a barrel contains 30 liter of milk a milk dealer empties it equally into six can each can will hold how many of uh, how many liter of milk let's solve it again okay so barrel that means you have a barrel so question number 29 so this is a big container which is which has a capacity of milk is 3 uh, 30 liter so this is a milk it is divided into 6 pieces six parts okay so 1 2 3 4 and 6 total is 6 that means you have to divide this 30 with 6 so what's your answer it is 5 liter so each container each can will hold 5 liter of milk so that's your answer so option a is a correct answer well done kids now the last one uh, of this uh, everyday mathematics question number 30 mr sharma invited 2 lakh 76000 
फिफ्टीन गेस्ट इन हिज डॉटर्स मैरिज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन शोज द करेक्ट नंबर ऑफ फॉर नंबर्स ऑफ गेस्ट इन्वाइटेड बाय हिम ओके टू लैख सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव नो टू लैख सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन दैट्स करेक्ट सो बी ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट well then kids you all uh, solve uh, all this uh, i am a paper with me and i hope your small or uh, whatever you have a doubt it is cleared now please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends and your family thank you and see you soon take care